tutorial, I'll show you how to convert a Marvelous Designer shirt into a Sansa shirt and list it for sale in the Sansa marketplace. So the first thing you need to do, if you want to make Sansa clothes, is to model your clothes on the Sansa avatar. Sansa gives developers two avatars, a female and a male. Maybe in the future they'll have more avatars, but currently that's all they have. Now in Marvelous 7, if you go to the avatar category in the library, double click it, here in the bottom, you can find the two Sansa avatars. As I've shown in another video where I show how to fit the shirt onto the Sansa avatar, the avatars that Marvelous gives are not rigged, meaning if you show x-ray joints, these avatars don't have any. So you can't move arms and all that stuff, you can't pose them, which makes it difficult to fit clothing you may have made on other shaped avatars, which were maybe in T-pose or in A-pose with straight elbows, onto the Sansa ones. So until Marvelous has rigged Sansa avatars, I highly recommend that you download the rigged Sansa avatars from Sansa. It will be so much easier for modeling clothes on them and for transferring clothes you already made previously on other avatars. So you can download the Sansa avatars from this page here. There's a zip file. I've also included a link to this page in case you forget the page, in a big article with troubleshooting tips, marvelous design to Sansa, tutorials and all kinds of things. Here you can click this part and then here's the link again. And the link is also in the video description. So once you download this zip file from Sansa, you'll have a folder with a female avatar and with the male one. And basically how to import a Sansa avatar is to go to File, Import, FBX, then navigate to the folder with the avatars, double click the female if you want to bring in the female, double click that, and select centimeters. That's very important, otherwise they'll come in the wrong scale. Say OK. And we already have her in the scene, so you're not going to see much changing. This we also deal with in another video. And then you'll have the avatar with the x-ray joints, which you can pose. Alright, so let's get to the point of converting this shirt to a Sansa one. All the texturing of your clothes has to be done in Marvelous. It is very difficult to add textures when you import it into Sansa, so I recommend that you set up your textures here, scale them to the size you want, add a normal map, add any logos, graphics, you know, designs that you want before you export the clothes. Currently, piping doesn't do too well in Sansa. If you don't get the physical properties right, it can go dancing, exploding. Even when you do get them right, there are big gaps or grey lines where the piping is. Or the piping gets gobbled up by the fabric. So meanwhile, best to have as little piping as possible on your clothes. Even piping along edges sort of hangs with a gap or that grey line, which doesn't look very nice. A thing to note is that Sansa greatly reduces the quality and appearance of the clothes. So things which are modeled at particle distance 5 or 8 or 3 end up looking quite different in Sansa. You can see all the fine wrinkles become really big and, and rough. Here too, the sleeve becomes rather chunky. The point is you don't need to make tiny fine details in Marvelous when you're making Sansa clothes. This for instance is modeled at particle distance 5. The result will look like particle distance 10 or 15 in Sansa. So particle distance 5 slows down simulation, takes longer to do. So when you're making clothes for Sansar, you can model them particle distance 10. Anything below that will anyway be looking like particle distance 10 or 15 once it's in Sansar. Alright, so let's say this is textured and ready to be exported. One very important thing to remember before exporting is to hide line lengths. So here you can see our line lengths showing. I use my keyboard shortcut to show them. The default shortcut is Shift Z, I think. So the way you can hide or show line lengths, aside from using your keyboard shortcut, is to right click in the 2D pattern window and deselect show line length. If you are showing line lengths when you export the garment to Sansar, these line lengths will appear on your Sansar garment, like this, with numbers and with the red internal line numbers and things like that on the garment. Maybe they'll fix in the future, but that's how it is right now. Basically, anything you have here on your clothes, 2D graphics or line lengths, gets baked into to the texture and then appears on the clothes. So just remember, hide the line lengths before you export. Now to export it, we're going to go to File, Export, Sansar, S-A-M-D. Just click on that. 
save it in a folder, and name it something which you will remember. And that's basically it for exporting. There are no export settings, nothing you have to do, just name the file and export it. Now Sansar, on my computer at least, takes a lot of resources, so make sure you save your MD projects before opening Sansar, as MD might crash. Sansar is a free program. You have to create an account on sansar.com, and then after you create an account, you can download Sansar. Download it, run it, install it, and then open it up. When you open Sansar, you'll have to log in again to the program on your computer. And this is what Sansa looks like currently. Here are all kinds of events and locations which you can visit, all kinds of virtual reality places. If you want to import clothes and create clothes for sale, click on this icon here. It's called a lookbook. When you click on it, the first thing you'll have to do is create a new look. I've already played with Sansa a bit, that's why you see these two looks here. So let's create a new look and show you the whole process. I'll say create new look. Adding new look. And here it's generated a random avatar with some clothes and hair and shoes. If you want to delete a look, click on this green little I um, triangle icon thing here and select delete. If you want to change the name of a look, you can select rename and you can say uh, summer look, for instance. And this will be winter clothes, summer look. But that's just if you want to play in the game that you need to do these things. If you want to create clothes for sale, then all you need to do is create one female avatar and one male one to create the clothes on. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with, the female. And to import clothes, to change her look if we want to, we have to select customize. If you want to turn her into a man, you can do that here by selecting the man's body. Let's go with a female. If you want to play around, you can change skin color, nail color, hair. I recommend for making marvelous clothes to have most minimal hair so it doesn't get in the way of clothing. If you have like this long hair, it could cause um, problems when you model in marvelous with um, fabric getting stuck in the hair. So just have something simple. Also, if you're going to make hoods or hats, best to have something that's easy without too many designs in the hair and stuff. Just give her a bit of a better color here. Here's some settings if you want to change what your avatar looks like. Again, that's if you're planning to be playing in Sansar. You can change cheekbones, eyes, nose, lips, jawline. And here, if you want to add some accessories, earrings, sunglasses, stuff like that. Again, I prefer modeling without any earrings, as that sometimes gets stuck in the clothes. Also, when you're going to be presenting your clothes for sale, you need to only show what the client is getting. So you can't include other people's jewelry or pants if that's not what's in your product. So this icon here is for clothes, and that's where the fun is. If you want to get rid of the clothes she's wearing now, just unselect it. You can see the clothes she's wearing has this green outline. Just click that to deselect it. Here's some default clothing that comes for free with Sansar, shirts, things. Clothing you import from Marvelous has this orange thing with an M. If you're playing in Sansar and you buy clothing, I do believe it will appear in here. Though I've never tried, so I can't say for sure, but it only makes sense that it would appear in your clothing selection. Now to import a Marvelous designer clothing item, simply click on Add Clothing. And here in the clothing resource file, we're going to browse and select that SAMD file, which we just exported. Say open. Now we need a thumbnail asset, a PNG, and it needs to have the aspect ratio of 1. Anything else is not accepted, meaning it has to be like 500 by 500 or 600 by 600. And it also, I think, can't be smaller than 500. Well, I'm not sure about that either exact size. So um, let's go back to Marvelous Designer and take a quick screenshot of this shirt. Where the thumbnail is going to appear is here. You can't change it after you've imported the clothing item, so get your best screenshot of it now. This is not what clients are going to see in the shop when you list the item for sale. This thumbnail, they'll only see it here in their clothing library. Still, you want it to be clear what the item is, so when they want to dress the avatar, they say, oh yeah, those are my pants, that's my shoe, that's my shirt. 
So make sure when you make a screenshot of the item to only include the item without any other pants and to make a screenshot that the item is centered and easily visible. I have another tutorial on how to change the background color of Marvelous, how to um, change lights for a nice render. Remember, if you have your clothes here in Marvelous at particle distance 5 or something like that, or 3, with a lot of wrinkles, that's not what it's going to look like in Sensor. So when you make your screenshot, best you do your best to make the clothes look like what the people are going to be getting. So I'm going to raise the particle distance in these patterns to 10 and simulate. And that's maybe what the sensor clothing is going to look like. And now you could either save out a screenshot from MD, as I teach in another tutorial, or make a screenshot with an external screen capture program. And then go to Sensor, browse, get that image. And this is the name of the um, your clothing item in the inventory. So make sure to name it something easy to, for people to know what it is. Women's long sleeve shirt, women women's and then you can say import now there's also material settings if you go there you can load in a custom texture file if you wanted to have a different texture in the clothes now I don't recommend loading it in from here I recommend texturing it in marvelous because here it's very difficult you don't see interactively what it looks like and if you just import a seamless texture or a texture it might come in really too big and ugly and then you have to import it again and try a different UV scale, then see what it looks like the second time you import it, wait for it to import, and then, oh, it's still too big or it's too small or I would have liked the flowers here, not here on the stomach, you know? So it's easiest to texture it in Marvelous. So I'm just going to say cancel here and just say import. And there it's importing. You need to have internet access in order to import clothes to Sensor because it connects to their online system. So you can't do that if your internet is off. Also, if you export clothing at a very low particle distance from Marvelous, it's going to take much longer to upload and convert it. So therefore, I also recommend, since you won't see all the tiny detail in Sansar, because they reduce it, the quality, to export at Mar for Marvelous at particle distance 10. So here's that shirt we just added. Now to dress the avatar with it, I'm going to click on the shirt it's updating, updating, and there it is on her. Now by default, when you apply clothes, often there are all kinds of holes or problems. So the way to fix that, most of the time, unless the clothes really are problematic and then you might need to redo them or change them in Marvelous before importing them, most of the time things like this can be fixed by saying simulate cloth. And then when it looks okay, say stop simulation. And there we go. Those holes are fixed. Now if you want to change how the garment looks, you can do small modifications when you simulate, such as pulling sleeves up, changing some wrinkles, okay let's say that we like this item, how it looks. So you say stop simulation, and that's how it's going to be. Now, users who buy your clothes or who download them for free from the store, they can also simulate your clothes and adjust them. And they will simulate dynamically here. When they go to play in Sansar and visit different environments and play their game worlds, the clothes are no longer dynamic. They'll be conforming to the avatar's body. So if they pushed up the sleeves during simulation, that's how it will look when they're walking around in their virtual worlds. They want to change that, they have to go back into the lookbook, simulated, pull sleeves up and down. Now for clothes, for instance, hoodies which have hoods or long sleeves, it's nice when you sell the item to show them different options, like make a screenshot of the sleeves pushed up and the sleeves pulled down to show them what they can do with the item that you're selling them. Different looks, different styles, different possibilities. Okay, so how do we list this item in the store for sale? There's a little green um, um, <laughs> triangle thingy here. If you click on it, you can delete an item, you can simulate it, or you can list the item. So let's say we want to list the item, and it asks us if we want to create a listing for this item. So let's say create listing, 
and it has been listed successfully. Now obviously we want to edit the listing, so let's click on edit listing and it's going to open up our browser and the listing page. Okay, categories, wearables, yep. Description, so then write some kind of a description. And here's the price. If you set it at zero, it'll be free. That's a good way to get a lot of downloads and also reviews. People can review the item and if they like it, you get good star rating. And then later you can edit it and change the price. And um, that might be a better way to sell it because people see it and see good reviews and it might be higher in the rankings also if it got a lot of free downloads. Up to you. You can go here to see the transaction fees and, and what the Sansa dollar is worth to the dollar so you know how to set your pricing. And here we've got to add images. Now as for the images, you can either make screenshots of what the clothing looks like in Sansar, which I think is the best thing to do, because then you're really showing the people what it will look like when they buy it, with the wrinkles the way that it is in Sansar. Or you could make renders of your Marvelous Designer shirt, though as you can see, it looks bit different. Here the wrinkles are more sharp and sort of jaggedy, whereas here they're smoother. So it's up to you what kind of image you want to make, but I would go with the sensor image. So a quick and dirty way to get some renders of it is to make your sensor window full screen and then zoom in. To, to uh, zoom in, use your mouse scroll wheel. To rotate around, use your right mouse button or your left mouse button. You can also visit all kinds of, of their game worlds or make your own game worlds and uh, then get different screenshots of the clothing, what it looks like when the avatar is in different poses or of different backgrounds for a nicer looking render. I'm just going to make a quick screenshot of this item here. If you like the way that you arranged a shirt in the simulation and you want to keep it like that for the next time you open Sansar, just click the red Done button and it will save your look. And once it saves your look, it will take you back to the home uh, page of Sansa and then you can shut it. Here are the guidelines for creating images, product images for Sansar. Must be PNG, at least 600 pixels by 600. This link will take you to the image guidelines where they have all these instructions. For your main product image, you could make a collage, like showing the back and the front. Or you could just show one image, like other sellers do. Now if you make a collage, even if you make it very wide and they allow you to upload that, it will only show this kind of one by one ratio image. So you see like with these skirts that I made, it only shows the center one, the others aren't really that visible. So best to just have the prettiest shot of your clothing as the featured image. You can add up to nine extra ones or you can display different angles of the clothing. And remember, the width and the height have to be at least 600 pixels. If the, the height or the width is anything less than that, they won't let you upload it. So let's say we want to try out this image as the featured image. We can see what it looks like. If we don't like it, we can click on this X here and add a different one. To add additional images, click this button here and add them one at a time. Once you're happy with everything and you want to list the item, simply click this button here to list the item and say save changes. As you can see, many sellers list the same item again and again simply with a different texture on it. This is also a good way to get more items into the store so more people will find you. Often if they like one of your items, they'll check out your store to see what else you have. And it's also a chance to make more sales because maybe they want a checkered top for their checkered skirt and then they want a green top for their green pants. Currently, users can't change the textures on their clothes. So that's a great opportunity to make many kinds of clothes with different textures. After saving changes, it doesn't do anything, so it's hard to tell if the item 
is in the store or not. The way to tell is to go here in this icon, manage listings, you can open that in the new tab. And there you can see it's listed in the store. If you want to see the, the product listing itself, click this icon here and then say view in store. You can also unlist it if you don't want to sell it or give it away anymore have it in the store or you can edit it which will take you again to this page where you can edit descriptions images etc so let's view it in the store and this is what it looks like here again is a button to edit the listing category images people could check out different images you have and if you have ratings then you'll see rating if you want to see your sales go again to manage listings and then click on sales and here you can see the names of all the users and the time and the date who either bought your product or downloaded it for free at your store you can go here you can choose an image for your store banner which would be here a banner image up there in the Sansa store wearable category, you'll see your item as the most recent item. If people sort by recently created, which is the default way to sort, they can also sort by rating, A to Z and price. If I said F woman's shirt, I would appear at the top for the A to Z sorting. A few notes about texturing clothes for Sansa. If you're making shirts in Marvelous, made of two pattern pieces with symmetry applied to them, make sure to merge them into one pattern piece for the front and one for the back before exporting. Otherwise, textures you apply to it will have this um, center line, as you can see. Here it's seamless, and here there's a seam through the center, which doesn't look that nice. Another thing is that Sansa currently does not support transparency. So if you have textures like this lace, as a PNG of transparency, it's going to come across into Sansa like this, with a white background. Also, if you apply transparency to fabrics in Marvelous, like the sleeves or parts of the clothes, it's going to come across into Sansar without the transparency, just a solid color. You see, this is a black sleeve with some translucency. It came out gray in Sansar. I have a nice big article page of all kinds of troubleshooting tips, advice, examples, as well as a section here with tutorials on how to texture clothes in Marvelous Designer. So if you want to create many different Sansa clothes with different textures, this tutorial will help you, show you how to apply texture, scale them, etc. I also have a section here with links to all kinds of free textures that we give, which you can use for texturing your clothes. For instance, here's some cotton textures with different normal maps, cotton weaves. You can use the normal maps on their own with different textures or with these textures. Here's some more cotton textures. Here's a pack of different kinds of burlap, knits, cottons, and batiks and florals. And we have some denims as well. All you have to do is share it and you can download it and use it for free. A few last things I wanted to show you in Sansar. So let's go back to our lookbook. Select this look, customize it. Go into the clothes. And let's say you uploaded a clothing item which didn't turn out, or you forgot to upload a thumb, and you want to get rid of it. Just click here, say delete, okay. Now let's apply this shirt, and see about first. Simulating it, and then adding these pants. So I'm going to click on these pants. They're also a marvelous designer garment. And you can see it's penetrating with the shirt. So let's say it's simulate. And there it goes, looks nice. Okay, now let's say we want the shirt to be under the pants. So to achieve that, I'm going to deselect the shirt. And then after having only the pants, I'm going to select the shirt. And there you can see it goes under the pants. So the item you select first is going to be on top of the next item. So in this case, the pants were first and then the shirt got added underneath it. Simulate. And you can see it's having a bit of issues, so we can help it by grabbing the pants and tugging at them. There we go. And if we want to shove the fabric into the pants a bit more...
And there we've got now the shirt with the pants on top of the shirt. Layering marvelous designer garments is easy because in most cases you can simply tug at a layer to get it to be on top of the other one, shove material underneath it, adjust it like I just showed you. But layering a marvelous designer garment like a shirt with a sensor garment like pants or skirt, that is much trickier and in most cases not very easy to achieve. The reason is that the sensor pants are conforming. You can't simulate them, you can't pull on them to adjust them, and they're made with a certain small distance from the avatar's skin. So when you have like an item like a shirt which is longer and you want to tuck it into the pants, it's not going to work, because Sensor doesn't have space for another garment between the pants and the avatar's body. As you can see here, I made a longer shirt which I tried to tuck into the pants, but it wasn't happy. It just kept coming out over the belt. So most of the time it's simpler to just make a short shirt or a shirt that's made to go over pants. Or if you have a specific outfit, shirt and pants, that you're selling, then mention to people that this shirt only works with the other items that you're selling, with or with marvelous designer, dynamic pants, skirts, etc. And that it doesn't work with Sansa conforming clothes. Otherwise, if they buy it, they're going to be unhappy if they can't put it underneath pants. Also, when you import clothes from Marvelous Designer to Sansar, they lose any thickness which they may have had in Marvelous. The textures also get blurred in Sansar, and any stitches which you make with Marvelous Designer 7 stitch tool do not get transferred. So if you want to have stitch designs on your clothes, you'll have to do it the old-fashioned way of using texture overlays. You can see one of my tutorials, which I teach how to make stitches. We also have free stitch brushes on our site. Sansar clothes also do not have a different fabric or color on the inside, so there's no need to fuss with that in Marvelous, with different colors or patterns on the inside of the fabric, because that does not transfer across. Also, make sure that the clothes in Marvelous Designer do not have very loose sleeves which touch the garment, or pants legs which are flared and which may be touching. Because in Sansar, if the pants legs touch, they get rigged in strange ways, sort of stuck together. And if one leg moves, then the other leg pants also get stretched strangely. Or like you saw here, the sleeves sort of get rigged into the dress, and sort of vanish into it. And so best make clothes which don't have too many wrinkles, too much fabric, but are sort of conforming to the avatar's body and outline, you know, normal sleeves, normal shirts, skirts, not really fancy things with fabric which touches. Marvelous clothes which have a lot of layers, many skirts, shirts underneath a jacket, padding effects, or double layered cuffs, they don't work too well in Sansar. If you have too many layers, the fabric from underneath often comes through the top layer, it starts tangling up, tearing up, misbehaving itself. So best to have clothes which have maximum one layer, such as a pocket or a hood that is uh, falling to the back over your shirt, but not too many layers or complex things. You can easily create many products for Sansar just by changing the texture on your clothes and listing the same garment again. We have several packs of free seamless fabric textures on our site, as well as a huge library of hundreds of beautiful seamless fabric textures created from images of real materials. The library includes floral designs, beautiful batiks, sweatshirt knits, camouflage, stars, realistic burlap, leopard prints, zigzags, herringbone, mystical swirls and dots, stripes, leaves, glitter, fiery designs, and more. I've made a video showing how easy it is to change the color of one texture to create endless other variations. With this huge library, you can create thousands of unique Sansa clothes from each marvelous designer garment. You can also use these textures to texture or render any other 3D clothes in any program, as well as to beautify and enhance your interiors. Thanks for watching, and all the best creating Sansa clothes!